Now your local election headquarters with our other top story today. Of course, Rhode Island's 2022 primary election is today. You know, a number of voters, they already cast their ballots either by mail or early in person, but thousands more. They're at the polls today to choose their candidates for the ballot in the November election. The most competitive races right now are on the Democratic side as candidates are trying to make a bid to become our next governor. And on the Republican side, candidate for governor Ashley Kalis cast her ballot this morning in Newport video of her making her way into the polls and she is facing Jonathan Richitelli looking for the Republican nomination. We are expecting to know by tomorrow which of the Democrats will be on the November ballot for the second congressional district seat. They'll be facing Republican Alan Fung in the general election to succeed retiring Congressman Jim Langevin in Washington. Another race to watch today in the city of Providence. We're talking about the mayoral race. The winner of the primary today is expected to succeed Jorge Alorza in January because there were no independents or Republicans running in that particular race. Want to get an update now from the polls during the noon hour. Kate Walsh is live in Providence for us with the latest. Kate. Well, Danielle, we have been live around the same polling place all morning today, Summit Commons here in Providence, and I just went inside and checked the tallying machine where all of the ballots are being submitted, and about 15 minutes ago or so, there were 225 ballots cast so far this morning on primary day. Of course, across the state, tens of thousands of votes have been cast in early voting and mail-in ballots before that. Now, take a look at this video. This is a look inside this particular polling center right after polls opened at 11. We saw several candidates for city and state offices come by and greet voters from a distance. Of course, they can't get too close as they went inside to cast their ballots with it raining and many people working on a Tuesday. I asked voters what drove them to the polls today to vote. It's my civic duty. Um, I think if we want to make change, especially as people that are younger, um, we need people to come out here and show up and put the people who we want on the ballot. Here in Rhode Island being um, pretty blue, it feels as though the Democratic primaries are the most competitive races. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really like to get my opinion out there and um, my, vo my vote counted. So polls are open today across the state until 8 o'clock tonight, and we're likely going to see more people come during their lunch hour right about now. So more ballots will be cast this afternoon here especially. And after 8 o'clock tonight, we'll know the outcome of the big races across the state, and particularly here in the city of Providence, because all three candidates for mayor are Democrats. So that means tonight we will know who will likely be the next mayor of Providence. Live in Providence right now, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Kate, thank you. You know, when we see rainy weather like we're seeing today, sometimes it can discourage voters from heading to the polls. And our political analyst Joe Fleming says, while it has been kind of hard to predict what kind of turnout we would see today, he says recent interest has been relatively high in this primary. Well, it's still hard to tell. It looks like the early voting, the absentee ballots may total about 30,000. So, I mean, we may get a little higher turnout than people have been saying. Uh, but again, depends on the weather tomorrow. I think we can hit that 117 to 120,000 votes. But there's been a lot more enthusiasm in the last 10 days about the governor's race than I've seen in the first six months of the governor's race. And that could push people to the polls. It absolutely could. So we ask you to count on 12 News throughout the day for our in-depth team coverage of the primary election. We'll bring you updates when the polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. And then we have our special election night coverage at 9 o'clock on WPRI 12 and complete news coverage at 10 and 11 as well as online at WPRI.com.